When Siege launched back in 2015, Sledge was one of the original operatives you could play. By looking at this graph, you can see Sledge, even after becoming a 3 armor, is still one of the most picked operatives in the game with a decent win rate. So as a newer player, you're going to see all of that, and you're going to want to play and learn Sledge, so you clicked on the right video because I'm going to teach you how to play him. As for Sledge's primary gadget, he comes with a really big hammer. So you're probably going to see that and you're going to think you have to play a game of whack-a-mole, but that is far from the truth. In Siege, making even a small hole can make an impact on the round. In Sledge's case, his really big hammer can make really big holes. What majority of the players use Sledge for is what's known as vertical play. The flank, coming up the flank. What flank? Which what flank? flank? Cool vibes. I was calling to my brother. Solace is all running into Sunrise. I got near a side. That is an example of vertical play. In Sledge's case, he goes above the site and starts breaching the floor. But Sledge's hammer is not only used to destroy floors or walls for that example, it can also destroy bulletproof utility, like shields or maestro evil eyes. But for the primary role of Sledge is for vertical play. And why it's so important is because not only the attackers are adding pressures to the defenders, you're also getting line of sights directly into the site. Once the defenders realize you're playing vertical play, they may try to flank you, so make sure you utilize both your drones. Before Sledge became a 3 armor, he was typically used as an entry fragger if he's not trying to play vertical play. But now, since he's a 3 armor, I consider him more as a support operator now. Now, there's two main ways you can tell that you're gonna need a Sledge or a Buck. Either your teammates say, hey, we need a Sledge or a Buck for vertical play, or you know exactly what site they're going. I'm obviously not gonna name every site that you're gonna need a Sledge or a Buck for that matter, but once you play the game more, you're gonna realize that any site they have to go below, more than likely vertical play is going to be an option, therefore Sledge is going to be viable on that site specifically. Sledge is not only viable on sites that vertical play is absolutely needed. Like I said, he used to be an entry fragger and he still kind of can entry frag, and because his hammer can destroy bulletproof utility, and he also has frag grenades, he can destroy a lot of utility, so you can help with that as well. To help him frag out, he comes with a solid AR, and that being the L885. It has a decent fire rate with good damage and a 1.5 scope, so you should have no troubles killing people. And he comes with a pretty solid handgun, so if you really need to switch to your secondary, you can rely on this handgun. He comes with two other secondary gadgets, that being flashbangs and impact EMPs, but in my opinion, frag grenades are the best option for Sledge right now, unless you remove it, then that's going to be kind of a toss-up. Now, it seems like Sledge is a good operator, which he is, but there's two main issues that we need to discuss about Sledge. The first one is a hard counter to Sledge, and that's when you're playing vertical play, you can easily get nitro The second thing is that Buck is just a little bit better than Sledge right now. Buck comes with an undermounted shotgun on his AR, which is a better AR than Sledge's. It comes with a faster fire rate and around the same damage with the extended barrel change. And yes, it has extended barrel. He comes with the hard breach charge, and he comes with flashbangs. He's a 2 speed 2 armor, and he has a gone 6. And because of his skeleton key attachment, he can play vertical from far. So, yeah, that's uh, it's not really helping Sledge right now. Again, Sledge is not a bad operator, but Buck is just slightly better. And that's it for this operator how-to. If you're interested in any other operators in the game currently, I more than likely have covered them already. I've covered over 40 operators, and it's almost 70, so... Yeah, there's a lot to cover. And if you're interested in anything else I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And with all that being said, I'm Crypto Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night and goodbye.